Today, I'm putting in the milk stanchion. Um, I don't know what you saw that I did yesterday evening, but right now I'm just putting in the framework, and then I will set this old tabletop that I initially used on top of there, and then that plywood behind it, that's my old milk stanchion top. I'm going to turn it upside down so the cleaner side is up, and I'm going to reuse it too. <laughs> so when I get done, I'll basically have the same milk stanchion, only built better. There you go. So there you go. That's what we do. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I showed this, but I'm going to show it again anyway. Show where you put in there on the left-hand side, right above her hammer. She's put in one brace and then a board along the right-hand side as well. And she's going to put one across the back and then start fitting the stanchion in. All right, so the stanchion's mostly done. What I wanted to show you is a thing I like to call a collar. Sometimes when you're cutting irregular circles, like trying to go around logs and stuff, in order to squeeze it into a spot like this, you actually have to have some play. So when you have some play, you wind up with gaps, pretty substantial gaps sometimes. There was a big gap around here. Since this is where the feed bin is going to be that I'm going to feed them with so that I can milk, the last thing I need is something that's going to catch feed. So I built this collar. How did I do it? I measured this and then I just cut it out of plywood and then I just stuck it there. Doesn't look bad and it's going to save me a world of trouble because otherwise that would have filled up with fucking feed and pretty soon every mouse in the neighborhood would have been coming there for a feast. Right. So that's what it is. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, you are on. Okay, so I'm building a milk stanchion. Where's the fancy gate V contraption that you see and all that stuff? I have never used one of those. I made one once for somebody else who was afraid to try to milk without it. I'm putting up right now, I'm putting up a chain so that I can chain them if I have to. I rarely ever use a chain on the goats when I'm milking. I don't even hook up their collars. 90% of the time they come in, they get on the stanchion, I milk them, they go. They know the drill, okay? So I don't need that big fancy apparatus. It's one more thing to have to build. By the way, I built one, it's a pain in the ass. And five seconds into using it, the person I built it for, Quit closing the gate on it. Yeah. Because once you get your goats trained, you don't even need that chain. Right. Usually you have to do that the first couple of times you're milking a brand new doe. This year I had two brand new does. I only had to use that chain on one of them for more than a week. Okay. The other one, two times and the chain was gone. And the other one, the only reason I had to do that is she kept wanting to go check on the baby goats. Oh. That was Annie. Oh, Annie wanted to go check on the baby goats. It wasn't that she was throwing a fit or trying to hit me or anything. She just wanted to go see what the baby goats were doing. She was, uh, so she kept get, try, just leaving the stanchion. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't need to be fancy head gate. Like most things that you're going to watch in DIY, DIY, DIY. DIY. Okay, they're making it a whole lot harder than it has to be. You don't need a bunch of fancy as shit if you train your animals correctly. And you start stanchion training them. The way them. I train them is I start taking them in when they're babies. Like Penny, right now I have her come in the feed room and I feed her mm -hmm. on the stanchion. And sometimes you so groom her. So by the time they freshen and they have their kids, they're used to coming right in. Yeah. So the only balk they might have is because now you're messing with their teats. And what you do is, about two to three weeks before they kick, you start sitting on the stanchion while they're eating, and you go ahead and you massage their bag. Mm -hmm. So then when you go to do it, they're used to it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's easy. Yeah, and this is the old <coughs> this is the old chain system I had in the old thing. And this is the old pot that I had tied to the wall down there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
This has worked for a bazillion years. It's easy to clean. It's easy to work with. Why would I change the system? I've still got the pieces. Why would I go buy new pieces just to buy new pieces? Exactly. There you go. So that's it for now. Okay. Um, so this is a shelf that she just put in on the wall. It's actually above the feed bin so she can put cans there, whatever, so that she can do feed. And she didn't show you earlier, but she put a shelf right above the feed station right here. And she'll keep some of the stuff that she uses most often with the goats right here on this shelf. And of course, this wonderful tree she put in that has all these branches going every which way to hang things on, which I think is so awesome. Anyway, I just love this. She dressed up the bottom of the milk stanchion with a nice piece of cedar. Huh? Isn't that awesome? That sawdust all over you. All right. So, last thing to do, I got to build doors. Now, building doors on the back, even though technically I wouldn't do that on a barn, but I'm going to build doors on the back because we have had dog problems in the past. And I want to be able, that's one of the reasons I poured that footing there in front of the door, remember? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to build doors. Okay, now, the goats don't need a big opening. So in the wintertime, which is, they're going to winter over here. Right. So... That's the plans, anyway. Who knows what will actually happen? Because, <laughs> you know, life. Yes. At any rate, the plan is for them to winter here. So I want it to make as warm as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a double door or a Dutch door. <laughs> is that cultural appropriation? A, a Dutch door opens on the top and bottom or a double door? A Dutch door opens on the top, top and, and bottom. bottom. So you're doing a Dutch door. <gasps> A cultural appropriation. Yes. Well, the other one would be a French door. Oh, no. I don't know what the hell that is. That's two small doors that open side to side. Oh, yeah, it's okay. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Not opening that. I don't know from that. I don't know from that Frenchy shit. <laughs> but at any rate, so what I've got to do is I've got to build two doors. The bottom one I hope I never have to use. Because <laughs> the only time I would use that is if I have a dog problem. Right. So that I can actually sleep at night. Yeah, right. Um, because when we had dog problem before, I didn't sleep. Which crazy people that don't sleep wind up crazier than they started. Yeah, it's scary. So they'll hinge up here. That's why I put all these two befores in. And it's kind of I'm gonna build it and see what happens. Yay! So I'm using the ever constant thins. I don't. I am now out of shorter brads. Oh. So I'm going to wind up bending them all over on the back side. Well, that sucks. Actually, it keeps them from pulling out. That's so true. it looks like ass, but it actually makes it stronger. So yeah, can't bitch too much about that. So each door will be 33 inches long. So, and I don't know how wide. So 33 long and 31 wide. There you go. And so wish me luck. I hate building doors. <laughs> luck. We'll be back. I don't like to waste stuff, as you know. So I don't have that much hay. I don't have that much sawdust right now. I don't feel like going anywhere to get it. Um, so I was worried about having enough bedding. And I wound up having just enough of the cedar stuff that I peeled off the logs that I didn't put in the Billy Goat's house to cover the floor in here. Plus, as I hay them, they will spill hay on the floor, so right. it'll be thicker. But for an initial bedding, that's good. Well, and it helps to keep bugs down. And it's going to keep bugs and... down, the smell down. It keeps them from having to lay on the dirt, which right. is cold. Right. So, yeah. Well, that's awesome. Okay. Fantastic. And go. I showed you the finished inside yesterday, and she's actually got a mineral block in there right now. Um, this is just that much closer to having goats here.